time, Dr. Freeman? Is it really that time again? Dad! Dad, please! Dad! Oh my god! No! No! Half-Life 3 may be on the way, but let me explain some things first. Recently, there has been some evidence to suggest that a new, possibly Half-Life related game is in the works at Valve, and they've been very much secretive of it up until a few days ago, when a few things occurred that pointed this to a possibility of being a new Half-Life. We knew that Valve had been working on a game ever since Half-Life Alex had released, but we didn't really know what it was. For all we know, it could have been the game Deadlock, but this may shine something new on the mystery. Now, I want to get this out of the way first and say that this is all complete speculation apart from the evidence we have. And we're just going off what has been found so far. This could just be a diversion from Valve for some other game or just simply nothing at all, like a scrapped project. Either way, I want to talk about it now since it's kind of taking fans of the games by storm right now. A few days ago on a voice actor's website dedicated to their works, they were reportedly voicing a character on a Valve game titled Project White Sands, where they are voicing a female character in the game. Now this may not seem very surprising to you, but we have nothing about this supposed game come out to the public eye thus far. And her, well, site has now been scrubbed clean of any mention about this game. But we do know that it was made by Valve. And the thing that makes the name White Sands stand out amongst other names of games that Valve has teased and stuff like that is the direct opposite correlation to the term Black Mesa, the research facility from Half-Life 1. And both Black Mesa and White Sands are located in New Mexico where the first game takes place. Hmm... Again, this is probably doesn't mean much as it's just an apparent code name for the game. There has been very much some vague coded titles for certain games that they've released, such as Left 4 Dead 3, now cancelled game, being titled Hodog, and Half-Life Alex originally being titled as ja Jamiroquai, though Jamiroquai could be a reference to their hit song Virtual Insanity as the game would later go on to turn into a VR experience. There is more to talk about, however. Not only do we have the voice actors bit, but there's also been some recent data mines from a YouTuber who has compiled quite a few data mine bits of content and found some interesting things pertaining to this Project White Sands game. I will link this video in the description. Anyways, this data mined evidence has been found out some things about this supposed game that is being worked on. Cut Zen creatures from Half-Life Alex were found in the files, including things such as man hacks and even, get this, that the main character wears a HEV suit. Yep, the suit that Gordon Freeman wears has been found to be in the files and could quite possibly mean they are working on another game involving Half-Life. Cut content from Half-Life 3 in development back in 2014 when Source 2 was about to be released suggested the game was going to be procedurally generated, so no two maps would be the same. They could maybe focus on that again, but then again, this is all speculation. Now for the big question. Do I think this is confirmed to be Half-Life 3? Not necessarily. This could entirely just be a remastered version of an old Half-Life game, such as the original from 1998, with Source 2 graphics and generally just better ways of playing with the new engine, but it's not like Valve is Rockstar Games, so the possibility of Half-Life 3 is not off the table. Even if you say things like, oh well, they might just be they might just be scrapping the project altogether, then why would they hire voice actors for the game they would scrap? It's far into development if they're hiring developers, uh, that's what it seems like at least. So the TLDR of this is, I think there is a possibility that Valve is working on a new non-VR Half-Life game, but it could also just be a remastered Half-Life 1. We would need more evidence than just data mines and a voice actor's word to fully confirm if this was the case. Only time will tell, but I still hold our hope for Half-Life 3. Anyways, I'll leave this here, and I'll see you all next time. Prepare for unfold.
unforeseen consequences.